Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this is one of our new kits and modules. I will be making an assembly video soon. Um, what this does is it's it's a, a infrared learning module. Uh, you can use your any uh, any uh, TV remote control and go through the programming sequence. It's very easy. Uh, program in uh, any button on your remote, and that button will be used to toggle our onboard relay. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll turn it on. That is a, uh, this is the uh, the relay on LED, and that is our program LED. Might be a bit difficult to see. On power on, the relay turns on for a quick second. Now, what I'll do is I've got a remote here. Sorry for the blur. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to program in volume up. And once it's programmed, only volume up will be able to toggle the relay, nothing else. So, right there is the infrared uh, receiver, the program microcontroller, single button for program button, program LED, active LED. Active LED means that the relay is on. Relay has three outputs, um, normally open, common, uh, and uh, normally closed. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the volume up button. Uh, I'm going to keep my, the remote relatively close to the IR receiver. And I'm going I'm to press, press it down, hold it down and I'm going to hold the program button. That L the program LED should blink and when it's programmed, when, it, when it's successfully programmed, the relay will turn on. Now I can go from back here across the room and press the volume up key to toggle the relay. And I can hold the volume up key to toggle it continually or I can just press it, press it again press it again. Now I know it's blurry, I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus on the board, but if I press anything else, and nothing works except for the volume up button. So it's a really, really neat board. I'm going to say thank you to uh, friend Matthew Wakelin for uh, working with me on the software. Um, and uh, yeah, so the the traces on the relay to the uh, to the tr output terminal block are very thick, can handle high power. There are four mounting holes. Now I'm going to reprogram it. I do want to mention that Sometimes the programming does not go well in case in which case the program LED starts flashing and then it stops in which case you have to try again. Uh, let's try programming in zero. Now zero is programmed, not volume up. Only zero. So it's really neat. Again, if it fails to program, it's it's uh, you just got to keep trying it. Sometimes uh, uh, certain buttons will uh, will have an easier time getting it programmed. But uh, just lastly, we can try programming in one more th one more number. Let's program in number three. Now, it made an error there. Did you see the extra flash? So let's try it again. It starts to flash really fast if it's failing. Now, three is programmed. You see, it had a little bit of trouble with that. And sometimes it just does take a couple tries. It's uh, not perfect, but it does uh, it does work very well. And once you have a number programmed, only that button will uh, will activate the output. So one more feature is you can actually manually toggle the output by pressing the program button after it's been programmed. But now, I mean, of course, three will still toggle it. So very, very happy with this unit. Uh, I'm going to be selling this as a kit and as a fully built module. It can be found at engineeringshop.com and electroniclessons.com, which will take you to my eBay store uh, very uh, soon. So if, you, uh, if you're interested, check out uh, our channel. We've got, um, I'm showing off about five, six different kits today. Uh, some are as cool as this, some uh, are even cooler. So thanks for watching, everyone.